morning guys, it is time for a new vlog and oh, I read your comments in my previous video and also I've been receiving some DMs that you really want me to take you guys with me when I try out some wedding dresses. I really want to just try out a lot of models because it's been many many years since I tried out a wedding dress so I'm very very excited. Then we're also gonna go and visit the church or we're gonna go and see a church that we are maybe marrying in. Oh, I'm really excited for that as well. We're gonna meet up with one of our wedding planners and go and check that out after visiting Rosa Clara's headquarters. So it's a lot of wedding things today, but uh, I hope that uh, you will like this. I'm also gonna pack for Sweden because I'm leaving in one day. I, I think I told you in my last vlog that finally Gerard is working Monday to Wednesday in Madrid, so he can't come with me to Sweden the first four days. Let's see what Emily is gonna do in Stockholm alone. The thing is that Stockholm is not my hometown, so I don't have that many friends there. Like if I go to Gothenburg, I'm home. I know exactly what to do. I know exactly where to go. But Stockholm, let's see. Emily on adventure. I just see myself with a little backpack like this. <laughs> so, no, I'm kidding. But I have a couple of friends in Stockholm and I booked a couple of dinners. So I'm very exaggerating now. But yeah, I am very excited for today. Dude, I almost have like a bit butterflies in my stomach. It's so funny because Jira told me like, I'm not even gonna watch this vlog because I don't even want to imagine anything before the wedding day. So he's not gonna watch this vlog. We can talk. <laughs> <laughs> we can talk some shit about him. No, I'm kidding. But yeah, I'm gonna pack a bit for Sweden. The fun, it is so cold there. I think it's minus eight or something. I do wish that it was snowing though, because I think Sweden is so beautiful when it's a bit snow, but I think that the snow melted away, I think two or three weeks ago. No snow, but a lot of cold. So I'm gonna take my jacket that I had in London. You know, that's, if you have watched my London vlogs, you have probably seen me with one super long jacket and I was really living in that jacket when I lived in London. <laughs> That's so cute. I do agree. It looks a bit like a sleeping bag. I love this jacket. I've had it for so many years now. It is from a brand called Stronger. It's a Swedish brand and I feel like you can trust a Swedish brand when it comes to winter jackets. I refuse to, to freeze. I'm for sure gonna use jackets that look more like this if we're around the hotel, but going to the office I think I'm gonna wear this one on, on the airplane. But I'm gonna pack a bit for Sweden. I want to have that done because tomorrow I'm having a dinner with my girlfriends and on Saturday I'm working the whole day. So I just want to pack a bit today. So I'm not, I'm not stressed the last minute. So let's pack a bit for Sweden. So here I have my little box with some earmuffs and some hats like this. And I think I'm gonna bring my earmuffs. For sure, coming with me to Sweden. <laughs> I mean, this is a vibe. So one of the most common questions that I get is what languages are you gonna be speaking on the wedding? You know, with the priest and in the church. I was very, very nervous last year when I started to think about all this. But then we went to a wedding. I think I've told you this if I don't remember wrong. I think I told you that last year we actually went to a wedding where the girl was Swedish and the guy was from Barcelona. And what they did was that they had the Swedish people speaking in English and then the ones from Barcelona were speaking either in Catalan or Spanish. So everyone could basically understand everything, which was very, very nice. And I think we're just gonna copy that concept. So yeah, we're gonna have a priest that can uh, speak three languages. Then we're also gonna have friends and family that are gonna read from the Bible in the church. And I've chosen my, my cousin from Sweden to read. It's so funny because she's also half Sri Lankan, half Swedish. So I feel like she kind of represents my both countries, which is very nice. She's gonna anyway read from the Bible and I think she's gonna do it in English. I mean, I think that she knows she's gonna read in English and not Swedish. Swedish, but she speaks perfect English, so it's gonna be fine. And then one of my girlfriends as well from Barcelona is also gonna be reading and uh, I told her that she can do it either in Spanish or Catalan, whatever she feels the most comfortable with. Another question that you also ask a lot is when we are getting married and we're getting married this summer actually and oh, it just feels very very right because we both are born in the summer we started our relationship in the summer and we just have many things in the summer and i wanted this hot night mediterranean wedding and i know that my swedish family would be <laughs> so disappointed if we did a winter wedding because of course my friends and family will have to take some vacation off for our wedding and i just feel like if we do the wedding in barcelona during summer they can also enjoy a very very nice vacation here in the coast so we decided to go for a 
summer wedding. And yeah, I also got some questions if we're having more weddings this year. And yes, we are going to a few weddings, or well, we're going to two weddings. Gerard's best guy friend got engaged, I think, just two months after us, and he's marrying two months before us. So we're gonna go to his best friend's wedding also in April, which I'm super excited for. Then two of our friends are marrying in Paris as well, just two weeks before our own wedding. So I hope the hangover will not uh, will not last until our own wedding. No, but I am super excited for these two weddings. So guys, it is a bit later now and it is finally time to go and check out some wedding dresses. I have been waiting for this day. Super, super excited. As you might know, I am making my dress with Rosa Clara. You have probably seen me wearing their dresses throughout the years. I can put a few of them here. I love Rosa Clara so much. I think that they have the most beautiful dresses. For me, it was definitely a yes when they asked me if I wanted to make my wedding dress with them. I've been working with them for already four or five or more. Oh, but around there, I've been working with them around five years already so this feels so so right and I get so well with everyone up there and why well, I'm saying up is because the office is up but I get so well with everyone in the team we're just gonna check out some materials today I'm probably gonna try something on and I haven't tried on a wedding dress for five six years since I worked in the wedding shop I have mentioned this before but I used to work in a wedding shop when I was 18 to 24 or something like that. So I have tried already <laughs> on a few wedding dresses, but I can't believe that the day is here when I'm trying it on for my own wedding. I am, uh, I am so, so excited. But anyway, I am going to go down now, take a taxi and we are going. 